Welcome to Through Inquisitive Kids. In this video, we will be going over a cryptorhythms problem. So what is the greatest value that money can have? We can see that over here we have two add-ins added together, send in more, they add together to get a sum of money. So this almost looks like someone has written you a message. It says send more money. The first thing we notice is that two thousands place number added together equals a 10,000s place number. So, which means that they had to carry a number to get this M in the 10,000s place. Even the biggest four digit numbers added together, they can only carry a maximum of one, which means that M equals one. And this is actually true for any two add-ins added together. The greatest digits, nine, added together can only carry a maximum of one. So now we know that M equals one. When we look at the thousands column, we can see that something plus one equals a two digit number. So the only number we have for that is nine because eight plus one equals nine and that's too small and nine plus one is just right. We get a 10. So S equals 9 and O equals 0. This might be a little confusing because we have O and 0. So 9, 1, and 0 are all crossed out. If we know that O is 0 over here, the O is also 0 over here. So over here in the hundreds place, we can see that something weird happens. A number, which is E, plus a zero doesn't equal itself. It equals another number. So we all know that when you add zero to a number, then th that number remains itself. It doesn't change. But how did this E go from an E to an N? Well, the only possible explanation is that they carried a one from the tens place to the hundreds place. So now all we have to do is test for E, right? So if you go back in the question it says what is the greatest value that money can have so you want e to be as big as possible so right now the biggest number we have is eight so we have eight plus one and that n has to be nine but we can see that nine is already taken by s so that will never work now we go to seven if e was seven this n had to be an 8. And when we go in the tens column, we can see that 8 plus something equals 17. We know that 9 plus 8 equals 17, but 9 is already taken by s. So is there another way? Well, this can also carry 2. So if we have 1 plus 8 equals 17, which is 9 plus something equals 17. This R has to also be an 8, but that won't make sense because then N and R will both be 8s. So that won't make sense. Now we move on to 6. If E equals 6, then N equals 7. So 7 plus, so 7 plus something equals 16. 7 plus 9 equals 16 but then R will have to be 9 and that won't work. So if we carry a one from the ones place to the tens place, we get eight plus something equals 16. So that, that actually works because then R will can be eight and that works because eight is open. So let's say that this is true, okay? We still have to test further. Now we're going to the ones place. We only have D and Y to figure out, remember, it's asking what is the greatest value that money can have. So something plus six equals a two-digit number. So the biggest number we have now is five. Five plus six will make Y a one, but one is already taken by M, so that won't work. And then if we have four as D, four plus six equals 10. So this y will be a zero, but zero is already taken again. And if we do three plus six, that will only give us nine. And that's just gonna ruin everything because then it's not a two digit number. 
So, looks like that after all that work, 6 doesn't work either. Now, what if e equals 5? Then n would have to be 6. And remember, we're going to carry that 1. So, 7 plus something equals 15. So, r equals 8. So, if e equals 5, then d will have to be 7 because that's what we have available. And so, y would equal 2 it's because 7 plus 5 equals 12. So now we actually have solved for every single letter. And now let's check to see if this makes sense. Yeah, send is actually 9,567 plus more, which equals 1,085. And they added together equals 10,652. Let's see if, if this makes sense. So 7 plus 5 equals 12. Carry a 1. 15. Carry a 1. Yes. Yeah, so this makes sense. And this is actually the greatest value that money can have. Now we have to actually answer the question. The question is asking for what is the greatest value that money can have. So it's not asking for the value of each digit or anything. It's just asking for what is money. And our answer is... 10,652. So let's have a quick summary of our problem. The first thing that we did was that we saw that M was a carried number. And we know that it had to be 1 because two add-ins added together equals 1. And after we did that, we started using a lot of logical thinking and, er and trial and error and starting using an organized way of testing for the values of E, N, and R. And we looked back in the question to find that it said, what is the greatest value? So there's actually multiple values that money can have, but we got the greatest value, which was 10,652. In the end, it wasn't actually that hard. It was just a little complicated and you had to go back and check and go back and redo it again and go back and just try this and see if it makes sense. But in the end, we did it and we got the answer of 10,652.